We're here in the exhibition Pieces of History, 10 Years of Decorative Arts Fieldwork at the Historic New Orleans Collection. I am Lydia Blackmore, co-curator of this exhibition and the curator of decorative arts in the collection. Today I'm gonna to talk about this big bed in the exhibition, which is the largest piece we have on display. Uh, the bed came from a home in Natchez to be on display here in the exhibition, but it is not a Natchez made piece of furniture. It is actually made in Manchester, Massachusetts by a manufacturer named Charles Lee. And he marked the bed inside the footboard, right behind that carving with his initial C. Lee and a registration number. Charles Lee made beds almost exclusively for the Southern market. And if you look at this bed, you can't really imagine it being in Massachusetts. You imagine it being in a house in Natchez or in Louisiana or in Alabama, the sites that we catalog for the decorative arts of the Gulf South project. This type of bed is called a half teaster bed. It's about nine and a half feet tall, and it has all these wonderful little curly cute carvings and posts and finials and things on it. And that's to make it a beautiful piece of furniture in the style of the time of the mid 19th century. But also, this bed is a functional piece to hold mosquito netting over the sleeping people so that they were entirely surrounded by nets and couldn't be bit by mosquitoes. Because it's hot down here. We sleep with the windows open when you don't have air conditioning, as you did in 1860. So this bed is a beautiful and functional piece of furniture that came to the Gulf South through retail connections from the Northeast.